going on everyone this is the mac roberts back again with another nba 2k21 my player builder video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best darius miles builds now d miles's career didn't pan out the way it probably should have and in retrospect you could definitely look at it as too much too fast coming straight out of high school the punisher was taken with the third overall pick this was in the 2000 nba draft which is all around terrible and considered the worst draft of all time also, he was taken by the Clippers, which by that point was the worst still operating franchise in NBA history. He was a bouncy athletic forward with the size of a power forward, but with the nimbleness and the ball handling abilities of a small forward and paired alongside other young players like Q Rich, Corey Maggette, Lamar Odom, and the 1998 number one overall pick, Michael Olawa Candy, the team was a fun young team, but that didn't equate to winning. The team would add Elton Brand in 01, and the team actually looked ready to take off. However, the Clippers wouldn't do so for about four more years, and Miles was actually traded to the Cavs in 2002, the very next season. He was there for about a season and a half, infamously said that incoming draft pick LeBron James could get on the Cavs bandwagon, and was traded before the end of the LeBron kid's first season. Uh, I wonder how that LeBron kid ever turned out. He ended up in Portland and got into it with his head coach Mo Cheeks and injured his knee in the 05 season and that was basically it for Miles at 24 outside of a half season comeback for the Grizzlies in 09. Unfortunately Miles has also had money problems and ended up filing for bankruptcy but he's found a second life with his old teammate Quentin Richardson as a part of the knucklehead spot. So without further ado let's get into the build. Position is going to be small forward and in this doesn't matter. Jersey number also doesn't matter. I just chose 21 because that's going to be war for the majority of his career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the blue and red half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to a 90. Your driving layup up to a 79. Your driving dunk up to an 89. And your standing dunk up to an 87. And that's going to give you 21 finishing badges. For shooting, you're gonna bring your mid-range shot up to the max, your three-point shot up to the max, and your free throw up to a 79. And that's going to give you three shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna bring your pass accuracy up to a 70, your ball handling up to a 72. And that's going to give you four playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna bring your interior defense up to a 54, your perimeter defense up to a 76, your lateral quickness up to a 78, your steal up to a 68, your block up to a 69, your offensive rebounding up to a 60, and your defensive rebounding up to a 70. And that's going to give you 12 defensive and rebounding badges. So 21 finishing, three shooting, four playmaking, and 12 defensive and rebounding badges is a total of 40 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with Define. Height is going to be 6'8". He was a legit 6'9", but at 6'9", your ball handling does take a pretty big hit. So that's why I'm going to go with 6'8". And for the weight, you're going to go with 210 pounds, which was Miles' actual weight. And for the wingspan, you're going to go with 80 inches. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a 91 close shot, an 82 driving layup, an 89 driving dunk, a 79 standing dunk, and a 50 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 70 mid-range shot, a 63 point shot, an 82 free throw. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 71 pass accuracy and ball handle. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 60 interior defense, a 74 perimeter defense, a 76 lateral quickness, a 65 steal, a 74 block, a 66 offensive rebound, and a 74 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym rep badge are going to be 84 for speed, 82 for acceleration, 91 for vertical, and 81 for strength. Uh, for the takeover, I would just go with the slasher takeover. You could go with the lockdown defender takeover if you really, really wanted to, but he wasn't really a lockdown defender. He was definitely more a slasher. And the build is complete, and you have built a slasher, shades of Anthony Edwards, DeAndre Hunter, and Michael Porter Jr. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put Acrobat on gold, contact finisher on silver, fast break finisher on gold, lob city finisher on bronze, put back boss on gold, show time on gold, slither finisher on gold, and pro touch on gold. 
For your shooting badges, you're gonna put Slippery Off Ball on Bronze and Hot Zone Hunter on Silver. For your playmaking badges, you're gonna put Downhill on Silver and Quick First Step on Silver. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put Chase Down Artist on Gold, Intimidator on Silver, Interceptor on Silver, Pogo Stick on Gold, and Rim Protector on Silver. All right, everyone, this has been the best Darius Miles build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do on the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen uh, i'm not doing current gen so much anymore but i'll do it for a quest so if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make let me know in the comment section below as well just say hey i want this build for current gen and i'll try to make that build up for you last but not least thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace